Hey guys, Kazi here and welcome to another cause and effect video. We're doing another Photoshop video. It's been a while and I thought that we'd do a good old USA animal. We've got the grizzly bear, we've got the cougar, we've got a deer, we've got all sorts of crazy animals here. Of course, we've got the American eagle, the most majestic American animal, and of course, we've got the buffalo as well. Now, uh, we're just gonna get right into it, trimming this bear. This is, of course, recorded first, and then I do a little talk about, a little talk over while we do a little reconnaissance here. We're kind of watching this for the first time all edited together. Wow, beautiful. So we're just doing the tracing on this bear here. I did uh, have a little fun doing the crotch, I'm not gonna lie, not gonna lie. So we'll skip on through that just because we want to get to the good stuff. So uh, we're gonna soften the bear. So. Let's just put this out there. I'm not uh, a Photoshop expert. I really do not know what I'm doing. So to start, we're just gonna really soften this bear, do uh, whatever we can, make it up as we go, kind of Bob Ross it, if you will, and uh, try to make it as pretty as we can. I think the bear turned out pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, and we were able to dive into the buffalo pretty quickly. I will say, I really wanted to get the full goatee here, all the little individual hairs, but it didn't look like it was happening. It did not uh, look possible. Like I said, my Photoshop skills are not that great. So it turned out uh, a little rough in some spots, but that's okay. We made it work. We don't need to be masters to have fun, to make art, all right? <laughs> this looks ridiculous right off the bat. I really did like the size of this whole top head part, but I decided just to trim it all down, try to get the bare face uh, kind of out of the way, trim it up. This is always kind of weird to me. You never know if you're going to trim off too much, but hey, I think we made it work. We gave him a nice chunky neck. He's got a muscly thick neck. Nothing stopping this boy. Going to do a little drop shadow, mess around. This is really the extent of my Photoshop ability. All I can really do is, uh, you know, kind of mess around, guess, do what I can, you know, and uh, go from there. We uh, revisited that little blending tool that took me forever to figure out in the last video. Get some color going. All right, there, we've got a matching palette. That already uh, looks pretty good to me. All right, a little sloppy, but that's okay. If you zoom out, you can't even tell. Look at that, clear that out. All right, so, so far we've got this buffalo-headed monstrosity, and uh, we're gonna dive right into the cougar. I thought we'd use a cougar tail. You know, they're pretty majestic animals. I, I don't know about you, but between the grizzly bear, the American buffalo, and the cougar, I think we're building a pretty nice Western theme here. I, I think these are perfect animals of the frontier. When I was thinking North American, you know, we already did Canada. We already did, you know, the up north area. So I thought we'd do kind of the Midwest, the Northwest of America. So, you know, the American buffalo, the eagle, the cougar, all the things that you might encounter basically in Red Dead Redemption. So the tail turned out pretty good. It was an easy one to kind of deal with. Got it out of the way quick, but I didn't really want to do just the tail. So I've got something coming up for that in just a little bit here. So we've got a general shape. I do love how his arm is just standing up in the air. Now, antlers drive me up the wall. They take so long to deal with. So I uh, show you a little bit of my struggle here. Uh, it it's always slow goings, but uh, eventually we do get it figured out. I skip ahead a little bit here, but I don't think uh, you want to watch me suffer here. I mean, this is this is sped up pretty quick, you know. So let's be honest, this was a labor. I was I was pretty worn out after this part, especially. I think I needed a break, so I decided just to scoop the head, make it easy instead of carving out two antlers, but. You know, I mess up a lot, so that was kind of a big risk. I'm, I must have been feeling bold, because if I screwed up, I would have lost the first antler too. All right, so moving on. Antlers. Oh, I didn't clean out that little bit of grass. Did I notice it too? I hope I noticed it, because if I'm just noticing that now and that's in the final product, whoa, whoa. All right, no spoilers, be patient. Put faith in myself. All right, so these antlers, they're coming along pretty good. Clean them up a little bit. It's easy because the buffalo already kind of had antlers, you know, so it already had a place. Oh, sweet. I noticed a little piece of grass there. Got it. Ah, I just had to believe in myself. I knew it. All right. So we scale it down a little bit. All right. So as you can see, not knowing what you're doing can get you, get you some places. All right. We haven't even really cleaned up. It's already starting to take form. Would you look at that? Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Give a little cheers. All right, so the antlers. I think we got the antlers figured out there. I think we're going to do a little messing with them. No, here comes the return of the cougar. This is what I was talking about. I wasn't sure what to do. I wanted to add more elements here, so I thought I would just kind of take the dull, dead eyes of the buffalo, replace them with the creepy, wise, sage-like eyes of the mountain lion, the cougar, the bobcat. Well, I think a bobcat's different than a cougar, actually, so... Maybe I'm misspeaking here, but whatever it is, it's a cat that'll kill you if you see it in the wild, basically. Not your typical house cat there. All right, the eyes, <laughs> the eyes look a little bit derpy. That's okay, we'll figure it out. They don't look as uh, majestic as I thought. Got some eagle pictures. This is what I was thinking here as well. I wanted to give them kind of like, you know, that weird like kawaii style, like ear headband. That's kind of what I was thinking here. Thought I'd just pop them on for added effect. I do realize now that it has two sets of ears, but guess what? I don't care. I think it's gonna look cute. I think the ears are gonna add something. And <laughs> it just looks ridiculous. This is so much fun. All right, of course, we gotta get them to match the rest of the, the body here. Oh, wow, so beautiful. Get some of that ace blending going on. God, I'm an artist, look at that. Amazing. All right, so the ears fit right on in. And of course, you know, we went with the Canada Goose for wings on our last beast. If you want to check out that video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But uh, I learned some lessons from those wings. So I thought here I would just do one wing and then copy and paste it, uh, like duplicate it, turn it around. So clean up this wing pretty good. Bald eagles have really nice wings. It was really easy to Photoshop this one, actually, like kind of clear it out. So turned out pretty good it was an easy fix and it didn't take that long so hooray yeah and it already looks cool it's got this angelic vibe to it like damn i've kind of realizing though that those antlers should be a little bit behind the claw i probably did not fix that i'm not gonna lie but maybe he's reaching behind his antler soon host now that's gonna bug me for the rest of this it's okay pretend you didn't see it we'll move on All right, so we've got a shadow going on. We're starting to blend it. We're really getting in there. This is turning out good. Gosh, I'm impressed with myself. I'm not going to lie. Like, you're coming along with me for this journey. We're figuring it out as we go. Damn, those wings. Majestic. All right. I couldn't find a background. It took me a while to figure something out, but I'm not going to lie. I skipped a lot of that. I was looking in deserts. I was looking at crazy stuff. And then I realized that there's already some pretty mystical places that exist in that part of America. And I thought, you know what? Why not the Redwoods? I know the Redwoods are a little bit further south, but still, it's a pretty mystical area. So I found this cool tourist Redwood area. I uh, did my best to get rid of the people in the background. And I think I did pretty good. And this is, of course, where, you know, you start overcomplicating things. And this is what I'm famous for. I'm like, oh, how can I... How can I make it look like this bear creature is standing just behind all this foliage? Well, guess what? I'm about to waste a good amount of time trying to figure this out. And it's probably not going to look the way I want it to. So <laughs> you can see the frustration slowly building in just the brush strokes, all right? I'm giving it a nice attempt here. Jesus. God, I was committed. I was committed. I think I got to go back in there a few more times. Is that it? Is, are you going to accept that for what it is? Oh, geez. Sloppy, sloppy. That's what happens when you don't know what you're doing. I think it's coming along. All right. So I thought here that we'd, uh, you know, if you've watched the last video, you know, building the scene is kind of the fun part of all this, right? Because you go through the struggle and the murder that is creating this cool looking beast, right? But then you want to add some cool assets. So I was like, all right. So the last one was like a Canadian beast at Tim Hortons. There's really not much going on. But what would you do if you were kind of the the American beast what would that be like so I was thinking maybe we could get kind of like a campfire vibe going get some uh, wildlife uh, joining this creature around the fire you know kind of like the raccoons in the last video so this is turning out pretty good I'm mixing it up with the fire this is kind of the first time I've ever uh, tried introducing light into a picture and kind of messing with that and it obviously isn't gonna look perfect but goddamn and of course the touch you gotta make it American gotta add that american flag how how else are you gonna know it's an american animal the beast of america all right free transform mix it up 
Transformers was a pretty American movie. Let's be real. America. All right, make it a little rugged at the top. You know, try to get some cute little creatures. Oh, no, we're not doing creatures yet. I think, oh, yes, this was it. I was starting to get the vibe here that there was definitely some sage action going here. So I decided that, you know, if this bear creature, this beast, this mythical beast is going to be doing something, it's got to have kind of a, a sage staff. So I thought I'd mess with that a little bit. We're kind of at the point here where we can start kind of thinking of a name for this creature, you know. The the beast before was the Spirit of the North. We didn't really come up with a conclusive name for it. Um, but this one's definitely a, a Spirit of the West. You can definitely feel that, you know. It's definitely coming along here. What was that? Bucket of corn? Bucket of beer? All right, so we found a cooler. Now we're looking American. Here we go. All right, so this scene is is really coming along here. You definitely get the vibe that we're kind of hanging out in the forest. You know, we got these giant redwoods. We've got this shaman, this, uh, this sage, sage of the woods. And you know, sages, you know, maybe maybe it's not the tripping kind of sage. He's kind of like the, the kind of guru that hangs out, has a, few, has a few cold ones with the boys, just hangs out. All right, this is coming along nice. I like it. Sometimes I just look deeply into the eyes of this creature and I'm just like, God, you are absolutely terrifying. Everything about this thing is starting to get terrifying. All right, we added some rabbits in there, some party goers. They're going to participate. There we go. Give them some, something to do there. Oh, nice. I love adding the scene. It just really makes it something so beautiful. Look at that, rabbits. Now, the hard thing about finding pictures of rabbits is that, like, they all look rabbits are weird looking animals there's so many different kinds of rabbits i don't want some pet fluffy rabbit we need some american rabbits american rabbits and some american raccoons just doing some things this is what true photoshop is this is stealing images off the internet like this cute derpy looking raccoon and just ripping its assets and using it for your own creativity there we go beautiful he's just peeking out around the, the corner he's like yo can i snag some beers did we find a deer i don't remember did i find a deer that worked out i don't think so deers are kind of weird looking creatures i was like get out of my picture you bloody deer i couldn't find a spot that made me happy maybe i don't know i don't think this deer makes the final cut get out of here you you bastard you don't have a place here yeah i was really desperate to kind of fill the scene here but wasn't working, wasn't working. Maybe an owl? I think owls definitely belong. They definitely have a place somewhere. Squirrels? Yep, squirrels, there we go. That's the one, that's the piece right there. Beautiful. Mm. Uh. Mm. Magnifique. Oh, such beautiful art. All right, so I think we, we kind of figured it out. We, This is the, the final product, I believe. We're, we're in the final stages here. All right, let's take a peek here. Beautiful. Would you look at that? We've got the sage, the mighty shaman of the forest, hanging out with his critter friends. They're having a nice pint by the fire, just enjoying America. Because that's what it means when you're the spirit of the West, the mythical beast, the sage, the sage of the Midwest. That's your name, the sage of the Midwest. I love it. I love it. Maybe we'll have to do an Eastern American or a South American, but I'm definitely on like this North American kick. So maybe we'll do Mexico next or something like that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you check out the last few videos that we did uh, with Jurassic World coming out, Dominion. Maybe check out the uh, old dinosaur Photoshop we did, as well as the last uh, cryptid we did, the Canadian beast of the north so uh if you guys enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button hit that like button and uh, come back for more if if you want to see some more so thank you for watching i'm kazi and uh come back tune in next week